explosion. Uh oh. Okay, you guys, so as you've seen in my last video, um, I got some exciting load, well, an exciting load coming. Looks like from the way it reads, it's gonna be some sort of equipment. It's not a tarp load, thankfully. Um, and it's about three hours away. I'm gonna go back to that Loves I stayed at last night. Well, when you guys are seeing it, it'll be the not before, you know, you know all that. Anyways, um, gosh, my brain is so all over the place right now. But I'm not gonna have to set for the weekend. This load, I pick it up at 9 a.m. on a Saturday, which is awesome. And then um, we will be headed to, uh, to Pennsylvania. But I'm gonna record my way out of here. I should have recorded my way in, but I'm in Duluth, um, Minnesota right now. And wow, this place is beautiful. So I'm gonna record us uh, on our way back down to the Loves and hopefully it takes me back around that same beautiful loop that I, I did on the way in here. It's kind of scary because it, it was all uh, really hilly. Um, I didn't expect that, honestly. I thought it would be kind of like flat, like Chicago and other places around the Great Lakes, but no. No, Duluth is extremely hilly. Like, it reminds me of San Francisco, except for San Francisco's roads are like this big. So, anyways, well, let's hit the road. Good morning, you guys. So you know how I told you I was excited about this load? Well, I am picking up some bobcats. I think I'm picking up four of them because I've got four stops. I'm excited about this. I gotta move my tarps for them and disconnect my red line for them. And then I'll get loaded. Alrighty guys, so got the paperwork filled out he wanted me to and about to start getting the rest of it on here. Alrighty, you guys, so we got loaded there. Now I'm gonna go put my tarps back on and move over to where they want us to chain up.
them tarps aren't going nowhere. Okay, you guys, so I am now back into the spot right here where they wanted me to go. I was being loaded over there near that yellow thing right there. And they had me back in here to make sure that I was on this side of that cone. I don't know if you can see it. That cone back there. And now it's time to start chaining and binding, binding and chaining, however you want to say it. So here comes the fun part. I don't think you guys have, yeah, you guys seen me chain on my first load um, with the trailer. So this will be the first time chaining equipment for you guys on camera. So let's go. Western Express, especially company drivers. If someone's short equipment, which is what that uh, driver was, he was short two chains, or four actually, but I only had two to give him. So hopefully he can get two more off another driver and he'll be set and good to go. But I'm gonna keep on the chaining. is all secured down and we are ready to hit the road okay you guys so um i am currently at a pilot in black river falls wisconsin this is actually a really cute place like i like the pine trees and stuff and even the pilot i'll show you in a few minutes it it looks different like i like the feel of it i kind of feel like I could want to rent a cabin or something from around here, but um, I'm going to do a quick load securement check, grab me something to drink and a snack, use the bathroom, all that kind of stuff. Oh, kind of hitch all this at it. Um, and we will keep heading down the road some more. I'm trying to make it to a loves this evening because I think that will, uh, my fuel solution, I think that will be a great fuel stop and rest stop for the night if as long as I can find parking but anyway load secure mid check let's go you guys um <laughs> there we go for the glasses again i am just a little outside of chicago at a rest area i did not want to continue on to my fuel stop so i'm gonna do that in the morning um i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night because it is uh 21 hang on i'm gonna show you guys it's 21 uh 48 central time 
for those of you who can't do military time, that's 9.48 p.m. I'm gonna go ahead and get to sleep. That way I can be pulling out of here by 7.30 in the morning. Um, and hopefully make some good time tomorrow. I'll probably be driving most of the day, at least 11 hours if I can. <laughs> I, I usually could drive, you know, about eight to 10 hours pretty good, but getting to that 11 hour, yeah, it depends. Depends on how I feel, but I am sore from them chains earlier. I wish I did chain loads more often, but I don't. Uh, I can't really think I hit a bird. Well, actually an RV hit a bird. It flew up, came down, hit my windshield, but my wind, windshield's okay. I don't think the bird made it. Um, I thought it may have like went up and over and landed on the bobcats, but I couldn't find it. So it's, <laughs> it's not there. Um, and some idiots had put, had a bonfire and I guess they had threw fireworks in the bonfire because they were going every which direction when I passed by. I wish I could have got it on video. Um, however, I did not have my GoPro set up at that point, so that kind of sucked, but figured I would share that real quick um, just to let you know what I saw coming uh, towards Chicago. <laughs> um, anyways, okay, I got to go to bed or I'm going to keep talking about nonsense all night. Um, so I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, y'all. I have made it to the Loves in Hampshire, Illinois. And I'm gonna go ahead, I, it's uh, time to get some fuel and probably something to eat. And then I'm gonna get back on the road. Um, I stayed at that rest area last night, which was very restful. I got, actually, I went straight to bed. I was so tired right after I talked to you guys, of course, but yeah. Let's get some fuel. Okay, you guys, I have arrived at Pilot in Canton, Ohio. The sun just set. So, y'all, I'm gonna do some laundry, take a shower, get some things caught up, and then. We will get back on the road in the morning. I'm about two hours away from where I'm gonna drop this load. I'm wondering if, because I'm out of hours basically, I think they want me to reset um, from now until Tuesday morning. And then after I reset, I don't know, I'll find out from dispatch in the morning if they want me to reset or go ahead and just uh, play with the hours I'm gaining back, so. Um, I will have more information in the morning, but until then, yeah, I'm going to take a shower and eat some laundry, eat some pilot food. Well, they do have a subway at this location. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I feel like eating, but that's the plans. Okay, you guys, um, different kind of set of plans or however you want to say that. I, my DOT medical, like the physical thing is about to expire. So my employer wants to go ahead and send me to um, a medical facility real quick to get that done on my reset. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so my Uber is on its way. That's gonna take me to the physical. I'm not sure which medical center, but. They got me set up. I'm just sitting here at the picnic tables at the pilot, just waiting on the Uber. Okay, you guys, I'm waiting on the doctor to come in. Um, I've done everything else, the eye exam, the UA, part of it, all of that, blood pressure is good. Everything is good to go so far. So I will see you guys when I get out of here. So I just finished my physical, which was back there somewhere. And I found this place called the Human Bean. I to order something fancy from here, I guess. Hello. Good. Um, on the picture there, there's something with caramel. It's like in the top right. Can I get that? 
Large? Uh, sure. Nope. Thank you. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm ordering. On their menu, this thing right here. Awesome, thank you. You too. All right, you guys. So, we have our drink and they put a little bean on the top of it. I'm gonna run over here to the Goodwill outlet. I've never been to a Goodwill outlet. About to check it out. I guess I should tell you guys this drink is amazing. I just ate the little bean that was on top. It was kind of crunchy. But yeah, I would order this again over and over. I would recommend it. Mm. Anyways. Good morning, y'all. So to recap real quick, we picked this load up. I came to this pilot in Canton, Ohio. Yeah, Canton, Ohio. I did a reset when, and I did my DOT physical. Now it's the morning of my first delivery today. And I did a quick load securement check. Everything's nice and, nice and tight. So um, we're just gonna get on the road. I did my pre-trip and everything else. So let's go deliver these bobcats. shut down. Yeah, where the highway shut down. Okay, thank you. Hello, ma'am. I'm, I'm a semi-truck driver and where the highway shut down, my GPS has brought me this way and I need assistance getting out of it. I'm not from around here, so <laughs> uh, looking at my GPS, I'm not seeing a way around it, so I was needing, like, I guess, assistance. Maybe some traffic control so I can back out of here. Um, it's a flatbed with bobcats on it, and it's a it's a white semi truck. I just don't want to back up in the middle of the road or anything like that without having some help for safety reasons. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, you guys. So yeah, I f***ed up. Excuse my language. But the road is closed up here, the, the highway. I don't know, yeah. You see that? They're doing construction and my GPS brought me this way. I've got police on their way to help assist me in getting out of this, so we'll see how this goes. Okay. 
That sounds good. I'm sorry. I, I like you. I saw the signs, but the my GPS usually they route me around stuff like this, so I thought that's what they had yeah, done. Yeah, we've been having a lot of problems with it. They still have another like 37 days to go. That this is gonna be shut down. So. Okay. Yeah, and I didn't want to try to do it on my own without having some sort of yeah, traffic you, control. Like I said, if you're comfortable with it, we'll be back in here and get you back out. Awesome. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem. Uh, you might want to move out of her way. Are you just going to back in then? Um, yeah, I, I can do that. I just got to get in the center of the road to be able to have enough room to... Hey you guys, so I've got to pull up here towards the right and then they're gonna back a tra truck up to mine and drive the bobcat off. So let's go.
first ball cat to go. To the other side, you guys. To the other side. Alrighty, I just gotta move that strap and then you're ready. Right. Okay, you guys, so we got one down. We got four more to go. I'm gonna get this gear put up and I will see you guys back in the cab. I'm gonna get this going. excuse me because I am tired but um, I just had a gentleman and I feel bad for him but he just backed into my trailer with the Bobcats uh, I'll show you guys the damage in a few minutes but I've got to finish making a report I know that sucks but it part of the job it happens we just got to exchange some information and, and go from there okay you guys so I just finished up or I'm finishing up that report on the gentleman who just hit me and then we hear a loud explosion and this guy over here his tire just freaking exploded wow guys look at the airbag you guys it has been 
a crazy eventful night. It's been an eventful day. Let's just say that, okay? I may have to make this video like into two parts. I'm not sure right now at the moment, but my Lord. It's like we just can't catch a break tonight, can we? I'm not sure if I showed you guys the damage from the gentleman backing into me. But I'm gonna take you guys back here to show you real quick. Show you the strap and the rub rail that was damaged. But if you look at the trailer right there, you see where my strap is? That's what happened. This little piece right here came off and the strap was damaged. And now that guy's airbag just exploded. Crazy, you guys, crazy. But I will uh, catch up with you guys in the morning once I get some Good morning, y'all. Um, <laughs> after the long night I just had, I uh, didn't get out of here on the time that I wanted to. I'm running probably about 30, 45 minutes later. Actually, an hour and 20 minutes because I wanted to leave at 6 and now it's 7.20. So I'm an hour and 20 minutes behind what I want it to be, but that's okay. I don't know that I'll be able to make all three drops today, but I know for sure I can get at least two of them done. So let's hit the road. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, you guys, so we're gonna pull around to the back, back here, to that load and dock, like he said, and we will go from there. Okay, you guys, you want to see what this bee did? It like impaled itself. Sorry, camera's all over the place. You guys see that? That is crazy. Anyways, we're going to go to the other side and get that side loosened. Oh man, what a day. Crazy, we're feeling so lonely. Look at these storm clouds, y'all. Looks like it's about to rain. Okay, you guys, so you saw parts from my second delivery. My third delivery, um, it was just one of the bobcats. It went so fast because they had stopped receiving at three and it was like a little after four when I got there which they didn't put their hours on the form so I didn't know the gentleman there was kind enough to go ahead and unload me since I was there that was pretty awesome I, I really appreciate the fact that he did that so I just have one my truck just shut off I just have one bobcat left and that will complete this load, oh my gosh. Good morning, y'all. I'm at the Petros in Carlsley, Pennsylvania. I've got that last Bobcat on here to deliver. So we are about to head to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So let's hit the road.
Okay, you guys, we made it to the Hertz where I'm delivering this Bobcat. I'm gonna go turn in this paperwork and see where they want me to offload me. Let's go. Here we are, and if you wanna pull straight back to the end of the yard, I'll have somebody meet you out there to help unload. Okay, sounds awesome. Alrighty, thank you. Thanks. Oh, repairing my file. Oh, yay. Yeah. So they want me to pull forward up here, and they said they'd have somebody meet me up here to help offload. Which it looks like I'm supposed to back into that, unless they can move that. I don't know. We shall see. Okay, you guys, she is unhooked. I'm gonna put this equipment up and we'll see how she's gonna get her off of here or how, how they're gonna get her off there. All right. Okay, you guys, so even after all the crazy stuff, we finally did it. We finally delivered all them bobcats after being backed into, me running into a highway with construction being shut down and the officers having to help out and so much more stuff. It has been a crazy roller coaster ride and I'm glad you guys made it this far and you went with it on, or. You went on this roller coaster ride with me. So I'm gonna end this video right here. So if you like what you're seeing and you wanna see more like this and you wanna continue to follow my journey, you know what to do at the bottom down there, all that stuff. So I will see you guys on the next one.